Arabian Nights was Magic's first expansion and is one of the most lore-rich sets in all of the game's history. Most players don't realize that the set was modeled specifically around stories from the famous collection known as Arabian Nights, or 1001 Nights in the original Arab culture. In this story, Scheherazade is a young woman who distracts a distraught king from her impending execution by him with tales that leave off in cliffhangers each night, leaving the king wanting more for a duration of 1001 nights. Without getting too deep into the overall story, I'm your host Mike and we'll be looking at 5 cards from the Arabian Nights expansion which represent stories from the collection. Shahrazad to get started, we'll look at the card which depicts the main protagonist in the story, Shahrazad. It's not really known if the misspelling was intentional, but I'd guess not since there are plenty of correct references to real historical figures in the set. Much like the character she represents in the story, the card causes the players to go into a sub-game of magic with their remaining libraries. In the end, playing this sub-game is just a distraction and only determines a minor outcome of the main game. Due to the hilariously exploitable nature of this card, it is banned in any format it would otherwise be legal in. Drop of Honey Drop of Honey is a rather well-known and expensive card. It's a one-man enchantment that destroys a creature with the lowest power on the battlefield during your upkeep. Once there are no creatures left in play, Drop of Honey is sacrificed. In the story The Drop of Honey, there is a hunter who collects some honey while out in the wild. Once back in town, he makes a barter with the local shopkeeper for the honey he's collected. When opening the container, a drop of honey fell on the floor. A few flies went to the honey, which caused a bird to swoop down and kill them, prompting the shopkeeper's cat to attack and kill the bird, which then caused the hunter's dog to kill the cat, which angered the shopkeeper who killed the dog, which the hunter could not let go and made him kill the shopkeeper. It's pretty neat to see how well the card was tailored to mirror this story. City of Brass City of Brass is a versatile card for any multicolored commander deck and can offer colored mana in a pinch for the low cost of just one life. Its popularity would normally push its market price up, but this is the only card in this list that avoided the reserved list and has been printed a few times. The story known as the City of Brass is one of the longest tales if not the lengthiest in the collection, but it is an interesting read so I definitely recommend giving it a read. Within the story, a few explorers come about the City of Brass and decided to enter it for its supposed treasures. However, nearly all of the explorers killed themselves upon entering the city due to a magical spell that punished would-be pilferers. Luckily, the card only makes you pay one life for one mana instead of making you lose the game. Diamond Valley Diamond Valley features some of my favorite art and is another high price reserve list card. The card itself is pretty simple. It's a land and you can tap it to sacrifice a creature which causes you to gain life equal to its toughness. In the second voyage of Sinbad the Seaman, the classical fictional sailor decides to leave Baghdad to travel abroad. On his adventure, he finds a mountain whose soil is full of diamonds but is too dangerous for any normal traveler to traverse due to the giant beasts which inhabit it. Merchants would throw meat from sacrificed sheep onto the diamond crusted soil which the giant eagles would bring back to them covered in diamonds for the merchants to collect. So you don't get diamonds, but in the game you do get some life from your sacrificed meat. Old Man of the Sea Old Man of the Sea is a really cool card. You tap it to gain control of a creature with less than or equal to its power, and you keep control as long as the Old Man of the Sea is tapped and the conditions are still met. With auras, buffs, and flicker abilities, it's pretty easy to exploit this card. In Sinbad's fifth voyage, he ferries some passengers to an island. Unbeknownst to him, some of the passengers destroyed a ruck egg to eat the juvenile inside, which angered its parents and caused them to destroy Sinbad's ship. While deserted on the island, Sinbad found an old man who did not speak but motioned for Sinbad to help carry him on his shoulders. Thinking it was a good deed, Sinbad obliged. The old man then leg-locked his neck and forced Sinbad to carry him around for several days. Under great distress, Sinbad made himself some wine, which the old man demanded he share. In a drunk stupor, the old man's leg grip relaxed, and Sinbad threw him off and killed him. After being rescued from the island, he learned that the man was known for trapping travelers to exhaustion and then eating them. So if you can't find a way to increase your creature's power, you might just have to get the old man's power to go lower. 
Those were five cards from the Arabian Nights expansions, which depicted stories from 1001 Arabian Nights. Let us know what you thought about them in the comments. If you liked this video, please leave us a like down below, we'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, you'll want to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you get alerted when our next video comes out. Until then, thanks for watching.